a short video cast about uh, URL shortcuts. Um, I was looking at this tweet, um, not interesting tweet, but I was looking at this New York Times. And like anything on Twitter, uh, every URL you click is actually a TCO link. If you look at the bottom, um, you see that it's TCO slash PV, etc. So there's a lot wrong with it. And let me explain why. First of all, um, security in DNS. DNS is rather resilient. You can have, uh, it's a very complex system with delegation, etc. But um, it means it's very resilient. It's pretty impossible to be down in DNS. Um, now, every URL in the world that goes via Twitter suddenly goes for you via t.co and hence um, the availability of a website you click, for example, whitehouse.gov, White actually depends on TCO, the uptime of the DNS. Not a good thing. The second thing is my screen. You, you click on TCO slash something, maybe you don't see the URL, but in each case, you don't know where you're going security-wise for the user. He can be tricked to go to another domain and he doesn't know where he's going. That might be solved by displaying another domain. Still, it's not a good from a standpoint from, uh, 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 from visibility. Now let's look what's actually happening. If I click this uh, New York Times uh, URL uh, and actually goes to t.co slash etc. Um, I'll wait a bit and I go to the article, right? Nothing wrong with it. Well, that depends. This is what's actually happening. T.co is redirecting. I can't measure that, unfortunately. But TCO is redirecting to uh, nyti.ms, which is redirecting to Tribal, which is redirecting to New York Times, which is redirecting to Bitly, which is redirecting to Tribal, which is redirecting to New York Times, which is redirecting to Tribal, which is redirecting to Google, uh, Google uh, New York Times with a, a, a redirect script. Which is VO2 and it's redirected with a GDOC and script. And actually, after one and a half second here, the first byte is transferred. Up to this point, they're all 3 0 access for redirecting scripts. So, bad. Bad from multiple points of view, but mostly for the user. And I can imagine it happening. That happening. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a TCO. Eight redirect script is really needed to serve a web page. Um, also keep in mind that this is for every one, there has to be a, a, a DNS, or at least for this one, this one, and this one, and the TCO has to be a DNS request, and on a mobile phone that can take you up to 100 milliseconds, 200 milliseconds to get just a DNS request. Then you have to do the HTTP request, it will take you two seconds on a mobile phone, probably. Not a good thing. 